How to increase your sales and revenue in today's tough times. I'm Linda Ruth, president of Publishers Total Sales Services. I help magazine publishers develop their audiences in all channels. And like you, many of my publishers are facing challenges. In many categories, sales efficiencies are down, returns are up, and with the loss in sales efficiency, support from the wholesalers and retailers are also lost. As wholesalers and retailers withdraw support from a magazine publisher, distribution is lost, and with the loss of important distribution, returns increase often and sales continue to spiral downward. First, I have to tell you, there really is no one easy answer. There isn't a panacea. If anybody tells you there is, they're not telling the truth. But there are steps that you can take to improve your sales, to pull your more sales through the register, to build your efficiencies, and to increase profitability thereby. Let me tell you the story of one of my publishers who managed to really get on top of this. In the mid-1980s, Chris Anderson came to this country from England. He had one small title a PC gaming title. He had started a company in England, sold it, and came to the US to see if he could duplicate his success there. Now most of us know, at most, almost everybody knows, that in England there hardly is a magazine which isn't polybagged with some kind of premium. The person who, one of the people in any case, who started this trend was Chris Anderson. At that time, in the United States, there was a feeling among magazine publishers that this couldn't be made to work on a financial basis. But Chris thought he'd try it, and he did make it work. He did a few things. One was he went to his advertisers for content. Many advertisers were willing to provide demos and free content in return for the wide audience that these magazines could, that that or initial magazine and then, then subsequent ones could provide. The other thing that he did was he increased his cover prices. He pushed his magazine's cover prices higher than we thought that it was possible to do in this country in the late 1980s and throughout the 1990s. But as this, at the same time that he pushed his cover prices, sales continued to increase. Did it cost more to bag those magazines with DVDs and CDs? It did. But what he did was he gained in revenue more than he lost in expenses. That was the beginning of Imagine Media, later Future Network USA's meteoric rise. It became a publishing company that from just publishing technology magazines, it published magazines in all areas of interests for young men. Action sports titles, technology titles, music titles, and it became one of the top 10 or 12 magazine publishing companies in the US in terms of newsstand revenue. Newsstand became the largest source of revenue for this company. Newsstand was profitable in all channels for all of the many magazine titles that this company published. How many of you can say the same thing about your Newsstand sales? I have to tell you, I consulted for Future during all those years of heady growth and we quantified everything and we learned a lot. For example, we learned that by putting a CD on a computer magazine, here it is down here you see, we could increase sales by 20 percent, thousands of copies of increased sales. We could increase revenue by tens of thousands of dollars. We tested packaging and we found that by improving the quality of packaging on a video gaming title, we could increase sales and revenue 
by tens of thousands of copies, tens of thousands of dollars. CDs and DVDs weren't the only thing we tested, although we tested them across many categories. There you go, you can see that now. But what we found was that when we tested, when we put strings or guitar picks on music magazines, we also could increase both sales and revenues. Today, you can't go to the newsstand without seeing magazines in every category bagged with CDs, DVDs, booklets, charts, all kinds of information products. And why not? Magazine publishers work with content. Magazine readers are looking for content. If we add forms of media and provide content across media platforms, we're simply doing our job as magazine publishers. Why does it work? It works because consumers care more about value than they do about cover price. Sure, if you increase your cover price, you'll get some resistance. But if you increase your value at the same time, you'll increase sales and you'll increase revenue. You'll pull more through the store registers. You'll build your base of support with wholesalers and retailers. And you'll increase your efficiencies and the lifespan of your magazine thereby. If you build it, they will come. For more tips or additional information, visit www.publisherstotalsales.com and click on Special Reports. See you there.